Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Bronzecasters. My name is Steve One, and I'm joined here in the booth by the bipartisanly elected Simply Nickish. <laughs> welcome in. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, welcome, I'm doing welcome great. everybody. I'm doing great. Uh, and I'm ready for some great bronze gameplay today. What about you? Yeah, and I'm not sure if we've done Numbani before. Or someone let us know in the comments. I lost track. It's all kind of merging. Yeah, I'm not sure if we've done this map together. before, but this is a very interesting, fun map uh, to play. There's, I feel like the first point can be, it, it kind of goes one of two ways, right? Either you stomp it or you like, you can hold that really well. If you, if you hold those side rooms, you know, the little, yeah, um, absolutely. little side corridors to get onto that first point. Right. And then you've got, I, I always love these hybrid maps, a little bit of push as well. Yeah, hybrid is probably one um, of my favorites. There's a little bit of everything. Um, and I do like Numbani because for the attacking team, there's multiple directions that you can go. You can either go main, you can go up through the little bottom room, you can go up top, uh, above on the like left balcony. Um, I, I really like the assault options on this uh, on this map, and then yeah, also just the, the hybrid with the push. It's just it's probably one of my favorites, honestly. And with that, and Red starts their assault. And we've got some mirrors here. We've got a complete support mirror with the Anna Moira. Yeah, how about we don't, that? We don't talk about support too much. You know, we, we tend to focus on the tanks quite Beautiful a lot. Beautiful sleep by the Red Team um, Ana. I, uh, I really like this support, Joe. you got some really solid healing from both. Two of the blue team already going utility. down. And uh, Moira trying to run away, but oh, is going to be taken down by the, <laughs> by the soldier on the red team. Is that it? And I think that's it. Oh, there's one more person left. It was a Hondo. Oh, look at that ragdoll effect, Nick. <laughs> oh, my. That's so anticlimactic. All right. Well, first point's done, everybody. Yeah. Um, and five minutes 45 on the clock. That to is to go down this quite road. the Wild. start to the game for the red team. We'll see if maybe the blue team can do a little bit better on the push portion. Some teams just do better whenever it's assault. Some people just do better when it's push. So we're just going to have to see what happens whenever the red team has to deal with a moving, uh, moving target. And what do you think about this? You know, we are going to go back to tanks. How do you feel this uh, Winston into Arissa matchup plays out? Well, which side would you prefer to be on? I mean, they both have their advantages. Uh, Arissa does not a great job at blocking much of what Winston has. I mean, but also Winston doesn't do a ton of damage. So, I mean, I could see it going either way as long as both tanks are utilizing their cooldowns effectively. Um, and it's just going to come down to skill at that point. Speaking of which, the Arissa kind of has the Winston on the run there, but is not able to finish. And two of the blue team are going to go down. Yeah, every time I look at the tank right now, they're anti. These Annas are just going bananas already. <laughs> Beats the monkey going bananas, am I right? <laughs> oh, nice. oh, I didn't even think about that. I oh, can't work. believe you didn't. <laughs> Damn, I missed such a good opportunity. You really did, and, uh, but that's okay. Yeah, here we see the blue just being absolutely pinned back. They just can't seem to get any purchase, and the red just... They're holding so far in front of the... The car here. Red is moving so far up, and it's really working out for them. He says as the tank goes down, oh my gosh, it looks like the Could Bastion's trying to need? hold directly on top of themselves, and the blue team might actually be uh, making a little bit of a pushback here, uh, pushing yeah. all the way back onto the point, which has already been taken by the red team. Yeah, they got a couple of nice pickoffs, which holds it for a little bit, but I mean, look at this time bank. They've got five and a half minutes to get it up this last ridge. This is... Just an insane first, first oh, what bit a of this sleep by the Ana. Oh, I yeah, think the blue massive. team is up way too far right now. They should be playing the walls a little bit better, playing the corners a little bit better, but they are pushed really far up. It looks like they might be resetting a little bit, but uh, the blue team Reaper is up Look very at where far. Look the Ana is. Have you seen where the blue Ana is right now? Uh, yeah, all the way up there. She just slept the, she just slept the red oh, bastion. Okay, never but mind. But maybe she wasn't Ignore at me. the time. No, do it behind enemy lines. I saw a little glimpse there, but oh, somehow okay. managed to get back on the right side. And a nice big double kill ultimate from the soldier. soldier. It looks like the soldier might have been... Uh, soldier was uh, nanoed as well. At least that's what it looked like at the moment. Uh, we can get a replay on that real quick. That was a very nice yeah, double let's kill. Yeah, quickly replay that. Uh, the red just carrying on the aggression and just pushing this cart home. Yeah, There's just, not much that the blue can do here. I just... I don't know if they can deal with it and yeah blue team is is this just straight up done blue team is just kind of like filing in one by one rather than grouping up they've grouped up a couple of times but i i think overall they're just not doing an incredibly good job at at, at grouping up and 
you know, getting together as a team. They're kind of just filing in. And as I say that, Why they actually do. The I mean, they were kind though. of forced to group up there because they're at their spawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but really great work from the Bastion. I think that they got a little bit lucky there with the monkey in evil monkey form. Popped the Bastion up on the ledge and then couldn't get up to him, which gave Bastion half a second to then pepper into that Winston, even in ult form, and take them down. And so, now the a blue, bit team, of luck, blue Team out. Reaper is definitely looking for the ultimate here. You can tell he has it. He's yeah, going back absolutely. behind. He's trying to see what he can get. He's going into the team. He's fading oh, in. Gotta He's going to pop down the ultimate, yeah, taking down big. two before going down himself. And you know what? That's a good trade, Nick. Absolutely worth it just to get a couple off the board and halt the push. And you can see already two minutes down on the clock is down to three yeah. and a half minutes. And they're holding, surprisingly. We've seen crazier After, what things. What a disastrous Nick. start. We've seen crazier things. I've been in crazy games where, you know, you're just able to hold for five minutes at the end, even though you got stomped the rest of the time. And that might be what we see this time. And it's going to be alts like from that Reaper that are going to make it happen. Yeah, but you can see Rockstar here, this soldier on the red team just Blue team Bash and all coming these out. Pickoffs. Not going to get anybody, but definitely used as a great zoning tool. And now the red and team Bash is going to re respond with the exact same thing. Also not taking anybody out. And that's, uh, you know, that that those were alts. Those were ultimates. That happened. <laughs> I think this is something we see quite often in bronze as well. The Bastion's just very quick firing in the same place rather than spreading out their, their ultimates big ultimate from the Orisa and the, the blue team is able to follow up and push the red team back once again wow Nick this is amazing I don't yeah, think that. oh and the blue team's getting a little bit cocky got a little bit ahead of themselves and now Rockstar on the red team taking out the, what it looked like two of them now getting nanoed by the Ana and seeing if he can clean up for possibly what could be yeah, a final push be here I'll be honest I think Rockstar is holding this game down for the red I think there'd be in a lot Worst state if, if it wasn't for this soldier getting Absolutely. these pickoffs and keeping them in the game. And another two. Red team MVP soldier is doing right a now. great job. A little bit of Moira on Moira violence there with the soldier there to clean up. And I think that's going to be it for the red it. team taking the points. Uh, not quite. So a little bit. The Reaper is there defending, seeing what he can do. Trying I've to hold down the point, but he steps off. Pass. And it looks like that might be it for the red team taking third point and uh, getting three points. I mean, they do have 1 minute 54 on the clock, so, you know, they've got a lot to work with if this does go into overtime, but quite honestly, really good job from the blue to shave down that time. You know, they took off a good, uh, you know, three and a half minutes off of that push, which uh, they could have been a five minute, um, five minute uh, half. Yeah. If that's the right word. Uh, but yeah, they did quite well to hold at the end and... It's all going to come down to can they replicate the speed of getting this first point? I think that's the key here. Right. Absolutely. I mean, the blue team did some did a really good job uh, coming together as a team there at the end. Had, I think, uh, maybe two or three really good holds. Uh, but I think what was their downfall at the end there, Nick, was once they actually had a really good hold, they got a little bit too cocky and pushed up a little bit too far. Absolutely. And the red team, what was left of the red team, was able to capitalize on it. And uh, it just kind of fell apart for the blue team from there but who knows maybe they'll do a little bit of better a uh, little bit better on offense and we see that yeah we see the switch is coming in here identifying that they need a, a little bit more in the front so they've gone with the sigma here okay uh, so the bastion can sit behind this sigma and it's very effective uh, with a mercy to pocket as well i think this is a really good choice we're yet to see what gamer fong's gonna go on here as the last deep uh, as the last uh looks like Kira and there it is yep. there's the carry i like this choice i think you know uh, you've got a pocket mercy here to sit on, you know, both the Sigma uh, and the Bastion. And then you've got a Kiri also laying down some damage and some good heals uh, to keep them in the fight. So I like this. And Red Team has uh, and it also like changed tanks to Zarya. Um, the Zarya into Sigma here, I think might be Zarya favored. Oh, what a beautiful headshot Ooh. by Gamerfong on the Kiriko. That angle. That was a beautiful angle. Jumping in, using the Suzu and a little bit of a heal to make sure their uh, their soldier is staying up. And another beautiful headshot. Both of the red team supports are down. And we might actually see the same attack, the same assault by the blue team here. It looks like it might work out the same way, Nick. We might have a game on our hands. It is worth noting that it is a 4v5. I As did not fifth, notice that. The fifth on the red didn't no pick. No so way. It is a 4v5, which sucks for the integrity of, of the game, but yeah. it could be really we impressive by the red here if they hold on. 
Yeah, so apologies for that. We weren't we weren't aware that it was going to be a 4v5, but let's see. I mean, this could be a miracle hold from, from Red. I mean, considering how well four. Red did before, and they still have Rockstar on their team, who was getting a lot of the cleanup and a lot of the kills uh on the first on uh, in the first half yeah he played a stellar so first half, so yeah. who knows what could happen here i mean it's not looking good for the red team but they might still be able to hold their own at least for a little while yeah they are getting pushed back significantly and any of you that have been in a 4v5 situation you know mainly it, it just comes down to a lot of just trying to be patient i guess and playing yeah. off the ults as much as you can you play very defensively yeah you know aggression isn't going to work out. Blue team not moving the, the point. <laughs> yeah, completely left it. Hey, and that works out in red team's here. favor, for sure. Yeah, any time that they can shave off here is amazing. Who knows, maybe the fifth player will come back, but we should switch to the Junker so. Queen Yeah, here. we do have a Junker Queen switch here, and the blue team is continuing just to roll over the red team now, who is undermanned, unfortunately. But, uh, oh, what a oh. beautiful rocket shot nice from rocket. the blue team soldier. And he does have his ultimate. He might be looking to pop it here. I think he was hoping to see a few more people around that corner there. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. Uh, but he is holding this yeah. corner here. Maybe looking for the ultimate. Getting a nice knife stuck into him by the red team Junker Queen. But he's being held up by his uh, by his supports very well right now. And now has the shield for cover. I mean, look at the ults there. There are four ults available. And here the comes the here ultimate from the soldiers so far. Focusing directly onto the queen. And destroying... The ulting Moira on the red team. I don't know if that was the best decision by the Moira. That is a wasted yeah. ult, unfortunately. And a uh, Nano going down onto the red team Junker Queen from the Ana. Uh, see, They're just to keep her up. For just to keep her up. My wow. word, man! Yeah, how, unfortunately, how this is looking. This is looking like a little bit of a, a stomp, but. At three three. There's still some overtime to play, so we've still got some Overwatch to play here. We sure, sure do. And uh, I don't know how I feel about the Junker Queen into the Bastion. You don't have a lot of defenses to work with. Um, and now running directly into the Kitsune Rush, completely defenseless, using only the only the cover of the points. Uh, but you know what? She manages to stay alive. So what do I know? What do I know, Nick? I mean, I, the thing knows? is, if you can, <laughs> I think as the Junker, if you can take out the Bastion, though, you're self-healing. That nice you can knife. do for yourself. Oh, could wow. Really take out everybody else. Bastion is your down. Major Are we looking for an here. ultimate right here from the Junker Queen? Maybe? Possibly? I think you save it at this uh, point. She might be saving it. I don't know, Nick. I might have taken it. The rock was down. <laughs> the rock was down. Maybe yeah. not the sleep, but uh, I might have taken it. She's that. waiting for the Bastion to, to come back and then, try, again, try and focus and take out that Bastion first because that's the real threat. Beautiful knives that's we're nice. seeing from this Junker Queen. And there's there we go. the ultimate. Unfortunately, only getting the Sigma with that. Uh, with the anti, not really too much coming from that. Combined with the blue team Bastion's alt, uh, I don't think got anybody else. We're seeing uh, people go down on both sides. Moira coming out with the coalescence with the onto coalescence. the blue team, and uh, the blue nice team is kill, getting though. taken down. This is quite Could the they match. Hold this? They are holding so far, Nick. This Junker Queen is actually working out fantastically well. Wow. I think we're vastly, vastly underestimating her self healing along. With this Moira sat behind uh, her, she can just she's sitting in this front line non-stop, and they can't seem to get past her. And great double kill from Rockstar to to clean it up there. What is happening? I think the red team, if they want any chance to win this, they really, really need to watch their ultimate usage. The Ana, the Ana just nano the Junker Queen after the blue team was already completely dead for the most part, and uh, oh, they really that. need to make sure they're they're watching that because that's going to ultimately be what makes or breaks them as a four v five. But yeah, with but that, this, now they're the a four v four. So aggressive. <laughs> You know what? Yeah, this Bastion's not respecting this at all. And the Mercy and the Bastion both falling on the blue team. I think the Bastion was able to be res. Uh, big Rockstar. sleep. Oh, coming down a beautiful sleep onto the blue team. Sigma from the red team, Ana. That was so amazing, Nick. That's unreal. What is happening? What an incredible hold right now. And they're just, they keep pushing them back. This, this Bastion is playing so far up. And this Junker is doing such an amazing job of targeting, getting on this Bastion and taking them out. While the Ana, what, a, what an that unreal was a sleep. my God. clutch sleep dart. That, honestly, that Sigma ult could have ended the game for the red team. 
and the auto with that. I mean, if I doubt it would show up as the actual play of the game, but for me, that might have been the play of the game. Yeah. Especially if the red team is able to hold this. And just as I say that, the red team Junker Queen going Finally down. Finally get the Junker down. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know. They might be able to still hold Nick. Uh, I, I mean, at this point, the blue team has less time. The blue team has Anna? less time the back. than the red no, team if they get it shot. now. Honestly, that is completely worth it. Big Here ultimate coming Junker. out from the Junker Queen, getting onto the point, using her ultimate for the mobility to get onto the point, and uh, no one dying from it, but she is able to get there and continue so holding. Kitsune Rush coming do down from the Kiriko. The oh my In god. comes Nick. Rockstar. This is Here crazy. We go. Here he comes. Double kill for Taking Rockstar. down three of the enemy team. Blue team Reaper trying to get somebody taking down the MVP on the red team, but it's not going to be enough. Big Nano going down onto the Junker Queen from the Ana and not going to be able to do anything with the Sigma ult. Sigma, I think, is the last one left on the blue team how? right now. Oh, look at how well they're playing this car. This Junker Queen is dancing around this car oh. when she gets low and using that self-healing. This is unreal play. What a I can't knife. believe they're holding this. Are you kidding me? Red team is red team right now is team skill shot. They're hitting the darts, they're hitting the knives, they're hitting the kitsu the 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 suzus, they're hitting everything. Well, I guess they don't have a Kirigo anymore. But hey, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> The confidence wow. piece you get from this type of game as well. And now blue team, the entire round. blue team is falling into the same mistake that they were making on defense, and they're starting to filter in one by oh. one. They're getting a little bit antsy, Nick. They're getting a little bit too overambitious. They're not waiting. They're not filing in and waiting There's for the rest of their team. Left. And there's only 20 seconds left. The big res onto, uh, oh onto God, the Arisa. The blue team is being pushed back. They need to push up. They have 10 seconds. If they don't touch, it's not going to go into overtime. Oh, big Suzu bad. coming down to clear the anti. And, and two seconds left. Are they able to touch? To and they are not. The red team wins in an incredible <laughs> display of 4v5. Wow. Oh, do you know what the best bit of that is as well? What is I don't it? know if you clocked that. Bastion came back into the game to make it a 5v5 in the last 10 seconds. No, he did not. In the last, like, 10, 20 seconds. I did seconds. not even see that. Unreal. Wow. That was incredible. And I think huge props to... What a really smart change to the Junker Queen, actually, because what we were seeing a lot there was the double antis from both the Junker and the Ana were just decimating the blue squad yeah. they couldn't heal they couldn't do anything they couldn't suzu they, everything you know they, as long as they were spreading out the antis like the the kiriko only has one suzu and it's got a long cooldown so they couldn't use it the entire time to get rid of it all of the completely eliminates mercy's effectiveness as well so just a really fantastic read and my god we actually saw a 4v5 win what a game that was incredible the thumbnail for this is going to be incredible nick make me proud <laughs> thank you so much to everyone for watching we really hope you enjoy these videos we love casting them and uh, send us your replays if you've got a game you want us to cast we'd love to do it and then um, send them in absolutely link is at the top of the description get those replays in and until next time my name is stage one I'm Simply Nickish. And we will see you for a 4v5 next time. <laughs> Ciao.